based on Echelon 2. So Echelon 2 was a randomized phase 3 study that randomized patients uh, that are CD30 positive. So uh, the CD30 positivity was defined as 10% uh, or more. And they randomized to CHOP versus uh, CHIP, which is uh, CHOP without Vincristin plus uh, Brentuximab with Oten. And in that uh, trial, the trial endpoint was the trial endpoint was met. So there was definitely improved benefit in overall survival, progression-free survival, and the overall response rate. Based on that, the FDA approved the regimen for CD30 positive newly diagnosed PTCL. Um, one of the things that um, people were con concerned was like, is this regimen active in CD30 negative population? And there is a lot of data coming out, uh, both in PTCL and DLBCL population showing that uh, there is response seen with BV uh, when your CD30 is less than 10%. So even when there are CD30 negative um, uh, tumors. So this trial is looking at uh, CD30 less than 10% PTCL subtypes, uh, excluding systemic ALCL patients. So it will be non-ALCL PTCL subtypes. And these cohorts will be divided into uh, CD30 less than 10% to 1% and then less than um, like th th that are undetectable, basically zero. And the goal is to see, so this is not randomized, it's a single arm study looking at Prentaximab vidotin with SHIP in these patients for a total of six cycles. So this trial is um, currently enrolling, so it was recently started. So the goal is to enroll approximately 80 patients, I think 40 in each arm. So I think maybe in the next one year or so, we'll have that cruel uh, completed. We are going to be opening this trial soon at Cleveland Clinic, so it's still ongoing. I would say maybe for next ASH or after that, we may have some preliminary, but it's too early to say because it's an enrolling trial.